This is Twit. As we were talking about earlier about virtual reality making a big show at uh, the GDC, uh, one of the big uh, things behind that was HTC wowing everyone with the Vive. And uh, our friend Nicole Lee over in Engadget wrote a great post. Actually, I read the whole thing and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, wow, this is really well written. Um, that basically the, head the headlines piece for it all, HTC's Vive made me believe in VR. Um, and she got a chance to use it and said that uh, gives it a sense that it's that it's a uh, it's different than the Gear Live and that it's a standalone platform that's plugged into a computer. It doesn't run with the HTC phone dropped into it like the goggles. It's a true competitor to Oculus Rift. And uh, Nicole seemed really seemed to be blown away by the experience. Um, it did leave the question though of the difference between the Samsung Gear Live with the Galaxy Note inside of it allowing you to move around freely, whereas the HTC Vibe, you're tethered by cables to a box. That's, I, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to try that to see how much of a hindrance that is, but the design yeah. of the Vive seems to be done in a way to make the cables not get in the way, and they're gonna, I'm right. sure they're gonna do everything they can to minimize it to just one cable, but. Yeah, and again, I mean, it's, you know, it, it's an experience that that isn't intended for you to be out on the sidewalk walking around right. necessarily. So yes, it looks funny. Yes, it's yeah. huge. Yes, it's tethered and everything. But it's also meant to be more or less a somewhat contained experience for a very specific thing, enjoyable, kind of environmental, you know, uh, immersion sort of uh, experience. Um, yeah. Did I? You guys talked about it on This Week in Google, I mm -hmm. believe, last week. And am I remembering correctly that they are, is, is it this or is it Microsoft's um, VR offering that rec that recommends having a room with a certain amount of space around you so that you don't run into things? Oh, that that's the Microsoft one. Okay, all right, okay. Halo. So that's not yeah, the this. HoloLens. That's, but that's also, HoloLens. But this, this is made to work in a, in a 15 by 15 environment so you need to have about 15 feet around you of give to move around or there so we're not talking i mean i don't think this is work in my apartment in san francisco and by right. any means you know i right, think right, I, right. I think i've got maybe about six feet in either direction so yeah. um you definitely need to have the room for this but as well as hololens yeah you know, so. yeah but well, uh what an interesting way for htc to pivot a little bit and kind of re you know Embark on a new, in into a new category. Well, I mean, it's a, as a I mean, company. And, and to quote Nicole from the conclusion of her article, she says, "I walked away from the demo a complete believer, not just in VR, but also in HTC and Valve. I can't wait to see what's next." Yeah. Uh, and that the enthusiasm of that you could, really came across in the article. And I really want to know the behind the scenes story, whether this mm -hmm. came out of HTC or came out of Valve or how they got together mm -hmm. and decided to do this. I think that's uh, mm -hmm. you know fascinating. So, yeah, yeah, we don't really know any price yet. Somebody in the chat room was asking about price. I don't believe that we have any. <laughs> Estimates even on that, um, but yeah, you know, Nicoli was not the only one. Vlad Savov of uh, The Verge. I just saw all, like article after article of all of these, you know, <laughs> journalists who got, got access to it. And I feel like any other VR um, system, uh, you know, review has been kind of like, yeah, it's neat, it's blah blah blah, dot dot dot. But these just have all been like. Whoa, what away. just happened, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, and maybe uh, that's so why cool Valve, stuff. I mean, maybe Valve was, because they had their own, we mentioned this also, I keep going back to this, yeah. we can Google, apologize for that if you've already seen it, but, um, you know, we talked about that a little bit as well in that, you know, Valve has been doing research in this field for a long time, some of it on their own turf, obviously, um, but, you know, maybe this is just one of those things where they said, look, this is better than anything we've done, and we're going to put our, you know, put our money where our mouth is here, mm -hmm. and and partner on this product with you. I mean, certainly it makes a lot of sense. And I mentioned that th this is one of the things that really excites me about this too, is the Valve partnership. Yeah. Because, you know, I'd love to play Portal uh, with something really immersive like this on. I think that would be, that would be really, really fun. Or, mm -hmm. or you know, Half-Life 3 maybe. I don't know. Start some rumors. <laughs> Someday. Someday. <laughs> We'll Jason, your point that this is like not this is not about what it looks like, or you know that, that you're not going to be out in the street using this, or you know that, that this is about the experience that you have. I just think that's such a major, you know, not I'm not a, I'm not a gamer, but I look at this thing and I st I just can't get over this idea of like I'm never going to strap something like that to my face, mm -hmm. which maybe <laughs> is too like very vain and superficial, but like purely from a marketing, I'm trying to imagine the commercial like where somebody puts this thing in their face. I mean, even even in the early days of like the Connect, I remember the commercial seeming like a little bit like, wait, what's going on? The this is these people look crazy in their living room, right? So I, I I still wonder about sort of the this you know gaining traction with a regular person or for a regular person kind of getting their head around 
what the <laughs> not to <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we're, we're, getting what this is you know yeah. without actually experiencing it and it seems like this is just a specialty experience thing where you're sure. going to go to some sort of you know futuristic arcade and they're going to put you in a 15 by 15 room who has a 15 by 15 room i mean i live in new york city enough. so yeah. nobody um, well i mean I, uh, probably a lot of i mean uh, probably a lot of people not in small condensed cities like us i mean that that's right. the that's the thing and and I, I think one byproduct is we're going to get a lot of YouTube videos of people taking videos of other people playing. There's going to yeah. be a lot of right. po pointing right. and laughing at that. But it really only takes one killer, you know, one version of Halo or whatever the game That's is true. the kids play, Destiny or whatever the game, the, 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 or the Titanfall or whatever it is. The one game to really capture that imagination. I mean, I would have never played a first-person shooter before Doom or Quake. Mm -hmm. And it was when, like, when Quake came out, and you're like, whoa, and, uh, and you're all over this. You know, like, give me a, a Star Wars version of this and where you're in it, then, like, I would, I uh, like you, Gina, I don't like things on my face and on my head. I, it just takes that one thing to get a mass amount of gamers to get into it. Um, but then beyond that, You've got other applications like we've talked about with real estate and with you know mm -hmm. uh, you know travel and things like that, which I think could be pretty interesting. As well as um, I'm really interested to see what comes of it from a cinematic or storytelling standpoint, where there can be kind of like VR immersive worlds that you step in and you watch this story unfold in front of you. That could, mm -hmm. that could be pretty cool. And, so. and what about when they add yeah. smell? What yeah, about when the goggles vision, go yeah. around your nose? Yeah. Smellovision. And, and you get yep. smellovision. It's the HTC Vive. It, it becomes a gas mask smell. VR. Yeah, it's the thing. next. It's the next. Yeah. It's even more immersive.